Hey there, join me in recreating this design and get a sense of what you can do on the Wix Studio Editor. Okay, let's begin. First, click on the section to select it. In the Inspector panel on the right-hand side, change its height to 750 pixels and set its responsive behavior to fixed height. Next, let's give our design some depth and dimension by replacing the white background with a gradient. With the section selected, open the color picker in the Inspector panel. Choose Gradient and adjust the angle to zero. We'll click these knobs here to choose our color. Let's start with the left one and change it to light blue and on the right to white. Excellent, we've got a nice shade of blue. Right, let's add our title. Click on the plus icon on the top left to open the add panel. Go to quick add and drag the title into the section. Let's change the text to shapes creative agency in caps. Next, resize the title by dragging the bottom corner. And as we do, we can see our font size changing in the inspector panel. Let's make it 90 pixels. Time to add a paragraph. Again, under Quick Add, drag a paragraph and place it under the title. Let's resize the width of the text box. We can do this either by dragging it from the sides or changing the width value in the inspector panel. We'll go with 350 pixels. Perfect. Now to encourage visitors to scroll, let's add an arrow to the bottom of the fold. Click the plus icon, select decoratives, and then arrows. Let's choose this arrow and place it right about here. Adjust its size to 50 pixels and rotate its direction, like this. Okay? Let's apply an animation to the arrow to make it stand out a little bit. At the top of the inspector panel from the animation and effects tab, add a loop animation. We'll select breathe. Click on adjust animation at the bottom of the panel and set the distance to 10 pixels and click preview. Nice, that's the movement we're looking for. Now let's really bring our fold to life with a transparent video. Go to the plus icon under media, then transparent video, choose to see more options. We'll search for random and select this video. Let's place it on the right side of the section, hit preview at the top right of the screen and boom, there we have it. But we're not done yet. Let's resize the design to check how it looks on different breakpoints. We can see on tablet and mobile, our paragraph and arrow are scaling down. Don't worry, this is an easy fix. Go back to edit, select the paragraph. Go to the Design tab in the Inspector panel and change the responsive behavior to Wrap. Next, do the same for the arrow, only this time select Fixed. Now when we move between breakpoints, we can see we've solved our scaling problem, but our arrow and paragraph are now overlapping. So let's use a stack to prevent this and keep our elements organized. To do that, we'll move back to Desktop, select all the elements, and in the floating menu, choose Stack. Great, now use the handle to set the distance between the title and paragraph. 20 pixels looks about right. Let's do the same for the arrow and move it towards the bottom of the section. We'll set it at 100 pixels. All right, all stacked up and nothing overlaps. Next, we'll add a grid to help us keep everything in place. First, select the section by clicking the space above the title. In the floating menu, use the drop down and split the section into two columns. To make our transparent video fit the entire cell, click on the stretch icon. Now let's look at how our design behaves on tablet. We'll need to make some minor tweaks. Select the section using the breadcrumbs at the top of the inspector panel. We'll resize its height to 600 pixels. Now select the paragraph and change the width to say 270 pixels. Keep in mind that the edits we make here will only affect our design on tablet and smaller breakpoints. Let's switch to mobile and see how things shape up. Again, just a few adjustments needed. Using the breadcrumbs, select the section and change the grid layout from columns to rows. And finally, to line things up correctly, select the stack from the top of the inspector panel, align horizontally and vertically. Go to layout and align all elements and text to the center. And we're done. Our hero fold looks awesome on all devices. Be sure to check out more videos like this in the video tutorials tab at the bottom left of the studio editor. Now, go turn your blank canvas into a masterpiece.